Hi, this is Android 11 running on the Raspberry Pi 4 single board computer. This Raspberry Pi 4 is configured with 4 GB memory and this Android is running off SD card. This build is made by Consta Kang. It's based on Lineage OS 18.1. The build works quite well. I'm not going to show you any Android applications running on it because other people have already made videos showing its Android capabilities. What I'm going to show you is the Fox PC Linux desktop running on top of this Android build. The Fox PC Linux distribution depends on two APKs. The desktop APK sends audio and graphics to Android and the installer APK manages the Linux desktop installation. I've already installed the Fox PC desktop so I'm going to start it now. So at this point it's going to set up the file system and boot up Debian desktop. The Fox PC desktop is based on Debian Bullseye XFCE. The SD card makes it a little bit slower to start up, but if you have an EMMC, this should be pretty fast. So that is booted up. So this is Debian 11 64-bit ARM distribution. Can look at the memory usage. So this is using about 1.1 GB from 3.7 GB, so about 2.5 GB is available. The CPU usage is around, let me hold the mouse for a moment, about four to five percent, which is not bad at all. If this were running on a tablet or a phone, you could swipe on the navigation bar and that way switch to Android. But since this doesn't have a touch screen, to switch back to Android, you have to press this XFCE panel button and it will switch to Android. Like I said, it is actually running both Android and Debian at the same time, but only the display is what we are switching. And to come back to Debian, we can click again. Let me show you some applications. Uh, the file system between uh, Android is, and Debian is shared. So let me put a USB drive here. And that will show up here. This is the USB drive that I just mounted. Let's see. So audio and video is working with this media player on Debian. You can also, for example, open this PDF file with the LibreOffice suite. So pretty much yeah, most of the Debian applications can run on this installation. Uh, again, this audio playback. You can also drag and drop. I also have Firefox. Firefox 
can be a little sluggish because it's a fairly heavy, heavy duty desktop browser. Also, this board can be overclocked. I'm running it at the default 1.5 gigahertz. But you're better off launching. This is the Android YouTube playback. I can launch it from here. So you're better off playing YouTube on Android is generally faster and easier. Again, again, you can come back to the Linux desktop. So basically you have access to both Linux desktop application and Android application. Android has 3 million apps, so it's there's a lot of applications available which, you know, which may not be available on Debian by combining, by running one, by running Debian on top of Android, you get the benefit of all the applications out there. That's it, folks. Thank you very much for listening. I'm going to shut this down.